Hello everyone and welcome back to Bookish Ramblings. Today's video is going to be my April TBR. Mostly this is going to be my spring into Christian fiction TBR. Um, this is a readathon that Katie over at Paperbacks and Ponytails is hosting. I will leave a link to her announcement video down below and I'll also have all the prompts for that readathon in the description as well. But it's also going to be a TBR for like a couple other challenges which we'll get to. So there's 10 prompts for the Spring into Cr Christian Fiction readathon and it's for the entire month of April so it should be doable. Prompt number one is a book with a blue cover. I have a ton of unread books with blue covers so this one was very easy. First of all, I do have Firebird. I have read this one and a half times before uh, and I'm reading it for the second and a half time and I don't know what it is about this book. This is Christian like sci-fi and it's a series. I believe there's like five books in the series and I just keep reading this because I liked it but like I just always tend to forget everything that happened pretty much like I have a vague memory of some stuff but like I don't know something about the book just does not stick with me but it's like I liked it I remember giving it like four stars when I read it so I'm reading it yet again and this time I do have book two that I want to read it'll be for the first time and if I like this one as well I'm gonna try to read the rest of the series um in short order and if I if it still doesn't like stick with me and I end up forgetting everything I'm finally gonna get rid of these books you know like some books are just forgettable like that even though you did enjoy them when you read them I don't know I'm trying one last time and I'm really hoping that I really really like this entire series because it would be really cool to have like another Christian like sci-fi series to be able to talk about and recommend and really love so maybe the second and a half times the charm. Prompt number two is a book you keep looking at but never pick up to read and for that one I have When Hope Springs New by Jeanette Oak. This is book four in the Canadian West series and I've read the first three books and I really liked them. The first one was my favorite. I, I seem to like them a little bit less each book that I read but I'm hoping that I really like this one and um, there's two more books after this in the series but it's like about different characters so I would love to wrap up Wynne and Elizabeth's story but yeah this is Christian historical. Prompt number three is a bird on the cover or in the title and Firebird doubling up for this one. Prompt number four is to reread an old favorite. Um, oh, did I pick something out? I don't know. I'm not picking out a book for that one yet. I'm just gonna wait and just see what happens and what I feel at the moment because I don't know if I really want to do any like rereading next month. Um, and I just don't want to pick it out in advance. I want to kind of leave that one open and I just have like a lot of options. We'll just wait and see about that one. Number five is a book that smells nice or a book that is set during Easter time. I'm going with When Hope Springs New for that one because it's set during the spring and so I'm hoping and like assuming Easter is probably gonna be mentioned at some point and they're gonna usually like a good period of time passes in each of these books so I feel like we'll probably experience Easter at some point um that's what I'm hoping so we shall see. After filming this video I realized that I actually don't think that book is set during the springtime. I was getting that book confused with another series by Jeanette Oak where each book is set during a different season and one of them is set during springtime and so because this one had the word spring in the title I was thinking that it was set in the spring. I actually have no idea what time of the year it's set so there it might not be in the spring. I don't think it is. I know Katie did a recommendation video for this readathon and some of my friends were talking about books set during Easter as well so I'm gonna have to go back and look at those and get some ideas because now I have no clue what I'm reading for this prompt. Number six is a book with the flowers on the cover. So for that um, I'm gonna try to read Bake Me a Match by Aaron Mangum. This is part of the Lauren Holbrook series and this is the last one in the series. Match Made is book number four. This is book number five. Um, but I'm gonna try to read this one first obviously since I haven't read it and then read this one because there's little flowers on the cake. And this one, Match Made, is one that could also work for a book that I keep looking at but never pick up. I love the first three books so much and it is time for me to finish the series. And this is Christian contemporary romance. Also for that, uh, the flowers on the cover, I was thinking of, I have an ESV Bible and it does have um, flowers like embossed on the cover. So I'm, I'm in the middle of reading like Isaiah right now. I'm on chapter 11. I'm not like trying to finish the book necessarily, but just like make some progress in it. So 
there's that. Number seven is read a book that has new life. It can be someone who is new to their faith, a character who is moving to start a new life, or literally the birth of a new life. Um, so any kind of like new life theme. I have a couple that could work for this one. The sequel to Firebird, Fusion Fire, literally if you look on the back, the first line of the summary says a new life for Lady Firebird. So if I get to this one, this one can count. Literally new is in the title of this book, When Hope Springs New, so I guess it's about new hope so there's that one and then in match made it's about this girl named annie mckay who like moves to a new town and begins a new life for herself so this one could work as well number eight is a book that gives you a sunshine feeling that could be a book that makes you happy a book that gives a warm and cozy feeling or even a warm setting erin mangum's books always make me happy um they're always a good time they always make me smile i always like the characters so these definitely make me happy typically jeanette oak books are very like sweet cozy reads for me and make me very happy but this one is just it just depends on how well I like it since like I said the last book was like my least favorite in the series so it depends on if I like this one or not but it has the um it has the potential to make me very happy so we'll just have to see about that number nine is a short book a book under 250 pages the only book that I have um, here that could work for that one is the Jeanette Oak book. It is like 215 ish pages. And number 10 is read the first book in a series. The only book that works for that one for me is Firebird. So those are all of the books and the prompts for the Spring into Christian Fiction Readathon. And like I said, I do have a couple challenges. I have Oshina's Christian Romance Challenge for the entire year, and then I do have Chantel's Read Your Bookshelf Challenge. Oshina's prompt for April is to read a five star prediction. Usually I give Aaron Mangum's books five stars. Uh, it's rare that I give it less than, but I have. But I've given every book so far in this series five stars, so I predict that at least one of these, if not both, is going to be five stars. Chantel's prompt for April is to read a book... Wait, what was her prompt? Oh, to, re to read a book that's a different genre from last month's book. And I actually, I, I'm in the middle of March right now as of me filming this, so I haven't even read this month's book, but I'm planning to read Unyielding Hope by Jeanette Oak for this month. And if I end up reading that, that one's historical fiction, that means that for April I'm going to need to read a different genre. So that means I could read Aaron Mangum's or the Kathy Tires um, Firebird series. Editing Celestria back again because I need to add that the April uh, book club pick is Vivid by this author whose last name I don't know how to pronounce. I have heard about it but I've like forgotten everything that was said about it. All I know is that it's Christian fantasy, YA, and the magic in it has to do with like colors somehow so it's been on my tbr and i've heard good things so i'm very excited about it but yeah that's it last interruption i promise other than that i am keeping the month very open i have a lot of like new books that i've bought recently that i'm really excited about but didn't really necessarily fit any of these prompts so i'm hoping to get to some others of those i have like some fantasy that i want to read um, maybe some other sci-fi and i might like i said just finish out the firebird series if i really you know like it enough so i'm sure i can find like the ebooks on like kindle unlimited or whatever so yeah other than that we'll just see how the month goes but let me know if you're planning on participating in uh, katie's readathon and maybe what books you picked out for it or um even if you're not just let me know what your april tbr is i would love to talk about it down in the comments thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next bookish ramblings video bye